So I'm on my way up to Algonquin Park for a solo trip. All right, sun's out for a moment. It's getting pretty chilly. My nice meal, <coughs> drying out some of the wood. And I'm gonna set up my tent. So if it's gonna rain tomorrow, <coughs> it's best not to set up in these low spots. So I'm going to set up in the same spot, everything will flow down, if there is any rain, and I should be safe and dry. <laughs> I always forget clothespins on my fly. Because I hang it up for my last trips when I hang it up I put like 12 clothespins because I'm scared it's gonna fly away so I always end up with a couple on the trip added bonus I never understand people that uh, bring like a mallet for their steaks doesn't make any sense. This is your foot. If you gotta mallet a steak in, if you have to mallet a steak in, you're in some fucked up spot. Use a rock, tie a rock and a string on there or something. Don't hammer a steak, it's just gonna fucking snap. I've got, look at this. Thick, man, thick. This is, Holy cow. Five inches? Four inches? So, that's nice. That'll work well. But between that, this guy, which will loft up way more than this. A nice little pillow, right? And then I have the wool blanket. And, uh,. Puffy jacket if I need. I've got wool long johns, wool long shirt. I've got a down hat. This is a synthetic hat. I've got wool gloves. So there's there's no chance I'm freezing out here. It's only supposed to get down to like two degrees, maybe three degrees. So that's beautiful. Yeah, got this tent set up. I'm gonna put on the fly now and put all my gear in there and then. I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. Saw those things dropping. Apparently the squirrels like them. Just pine cones. I guess they go inside to get the pine nut. It's just chewing away. Makes it easier than running up the tree to grab them, I guess. But I'm gonna go hang the, uh, the bear rope. Yeah, this place looks so different from last time. I think I used, I wanna say I used that tree. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video, but if it's this guy and it's gone, that's pretty nutty. There's that piece that fell there. Hopefully this will capture. I'm gonna set it fairly low. I'm gonna try to at least. Water's just about there. I just stuffed a bunch more stuff in here. Rekindled the fire, literally. Wow, I just put that together in my head. No fucking way. It's nice to just relax out here. A lot of times we just go and we're going for pure distance or like some crazy adventure and that's a whole lot of fun but once in a while like a 
legitimate vacation. Coming out here and just relaxing by the fire. And, you know, taking it easy. It's necessary. Necessary. Kind of reboot your brain, you know? <clears throat> I love it. I'm addicted, man. Okay, <laughs> bear with me here. This looks dumb as hell, but <clears throat> since I got this wool blanket, I wanted to try out making, I guess what's called a, a match coat. It works, man, it works. The fire like radiates at this and then this holds, holds it all in. I probably look like a homeless old lady right now. <laughs> But you know what? Who's out here to judge me? Instead, I record it for you to judge me. So judge away. Sometimes the, the traditional way may not be the best, you know? But it's fun and it works. And that's, that's all that matters, really. As long as you're having fun and your stuff's working for you, no problem. So I have my camp fairly cleaned up, tent's all set, seems to be raining, I don't know if you can see in the light, it's very slight here because we have these huge trees blocking it, but as you come over here, maybe you can hear it, tell me if you can hear that. So yeah, I'm gonna probably retreat into the tent and relax a bit, clean up a bit more of the stuff that I have outside and put it inside the tent, make sure the fire is out, and uh, maybe read a good book and relax or pass out early and wake up early and make some breakfast. Who knows, but good first day, a good first day. Day two, like an idiot, I left the camera on last night and I left my phone on last night trying to search for signal so I forgot to put it on airplane mode. So I woke up and they were both dead, dead empty. The charger, I have a charger on the camera dedicated to it. That was dead empty because it was plugged in. So yeah, that happened. I'm also sick. I felt it, you know, you get that feeling in like the back of like your nose and your mouth kind of, you know, you're going to get sick. I had that yesterday and today I'm just all messed up my throat and everything. But what better to cure that than being outside in nature? <laughs> Yeah, that one's ripe. This guy's still hanging around. They're not really scared of humans. People drop so many things around the fire and on the campsite. <clears throat> they just come by and sometimes they like run across your feet even in the nighttime. These guys are quick anyways. I wouldn't be able to, to catch that guy, but... Look at him. <laughs> I don't have anything for you, man. <laughs> That's crazy, man. You don't see that often. 
he wants a bite. Don't feed the animals. Do not feed the animals. I think this thing is done. So, I'll put a little seasoning. This is just a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic powder, and keg spice. It's a restaurant called The Keg here in Canada. Not sure if they have it other places, but they make a, a spice and it's bomb. It's bomb. I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Drop a little avocado everywhere. Beautiful. And then I have my little bag of ketchup and mustard and I'm gonna frost onto the hamburger a little page out of Joe Robinette's book keeping the uh, the condiments in a little baggie and then you just bite it open that's beautiful look at that Mm. Oh. That is good. That is real good. I should have done this yesterday. Just dip this bread right in here. Get all these juices. Clean the pan as I go. <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna wash it still. <laughs> it's just bread and butter. Nice. Look at this guy. Get out of here, man. No, 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 this is the problem here. This is the problem here. I ain't eating that now. Put his mouth on it. He's not eating it. Just ruined it for everybody. There you go. Decently clean pan. So now, I'm just gonna reheat, have some tea in there. Might as well put this stuff from my cup back in there. And because it's, number one, it's cold as heck. I don't want to stick my hands in the in the water over there. I can use this warm water to clean this pan. So, preferably when you're out here, you're not supposed to clean anything in the lakes or the rivers. All your food stuff you gotta clean and then dump, I think at least a hundred feet away from water. So, this, this, um, sorry, that chipmunk's still around. This will help with that. It'll help get any of the grease off of your pan. Because especially when it's cold, that's, it solidifies and hard to get off. And, uh, it'll keep your hands warm. Tell me that guy's in frame. <laughs> dessert some grapes and 
I also brought, <coughs> because I'm not canoeing today, I have some, um, what is this, rye, I think it is. It's called Magnetowan Moonshine. It is not moonshine, it's like rye. And um, it's from, I guess, Magnetowan Breweries or Distillery. <clears throat> That's uh, around Algonquin Park. So Mr. Glenn told me about this from Cabin Life with Glenn and Maureen. He makes this into um, apple jacks with some apple juice and maple syrup. I tried it, it's bomb. But I don't have apple juice. So I got grapes. Some good stuff. It kind of tastes like vanilla. But um, you don't want to bring glass out here. So I have this Nalgene. It's plastic. It never leaked. It's a good idea if you want to bring some uh, some more delicious drinks, we'll say, out into the wild. I'm just going to retreat into the tent and uh, read a nice book. It's super quiet right now. Just got the, the sound of the waves hitting shore. So I'm gonna put all my food and all my smelly things up in the tree and head into the tent. One thing I've noticed with uh, this cold weather well, number one, I already wasted most of my battery life that I brought. And I have this guy too, which is charging. I'm trying to recharge everything now. And the cold is just really eating the battery life. I guess lithium doesn't play nice with uh, cold weather or super hot weather. So, it's just... Uh, the nature of the beast so I don't know how much recording I have left but we'll see what we could do good morning it's about 8 30 it's up for a bit earlier just listening to the sounds listening to nature you know anyways I'm just packing up some of my stuff before I go to eat breakfast <clears throat> I like to be able to you know relax have a nice tea eat my breakfast and then All my stuff is ready to go for when I want to leave. Last night, didn't do much. I didn't even eat dinner, to be honest. I wasn't feeling the greatest. But slept a whole bunch. And now I feel Pretty decent. Look at this beautiful sight. It's just gorgeous.
Here's a quick tip. You have a down jacket or any kind of jacket. You'll see some of them come with like stuff sacks in the pocket or they stuff into their own pocket kind of thing. If you find one that isn't designed to do that, you just grab a bunch of stuff and stuff it into its own sleeve. It comes out like a nice long tube becomes a uh... <laughs> sure sure We're off. Thanks for watching my adventure. If you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more, consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll, s you'll get notified of uh, any new videos when they come out. I'd also appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below about anything anything covered in this video that you enjoyed or that you have some knowledge to add or better ways to do some of these things because the lord knows I'm not uh, an expert at anything yeah cheers